All right, I just have to get a few more things and then we can get started. Thanks for letting me be a part of your competition. Of course. We suck at baking, but we heard your cookies are amazing. Oh, really? Thanks. I'm trying to perfect them. My goal is to open my own shop one day. What are these? Chocolate chips. Don't you have Hershey's or Ghirardelli? Oh, uh, those are expensive. But don't worry, I've tested a lot of different brands out, and these actually taste better, especially for the price. Uh, let me try one. Ew, these are disgusting. By themselves, they may not be as good, but when you bake them and into- And why are you using margarine instead of real butter? Uh, I use that stuff because it's what I can afford. I promise you, my cookies will be just as good with these ingredients. You'll see. Actually, I think we'll just figure it out on our own. Yeah, I don't think we need your help anymore, but thanks. We'll see you at school. Seriously? Over some chocolate chips and margarine? Hey, honey. Hey, Deborah. Oh, hey, sorry. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, no, I was just thinking about something. Okay, well, we just gotta leave soon. We don't want to be late. I really, really hope that Mr. Lyons likes the cookies. Of course he will. Everyone tells you how great your cookies are. Case in point, delicious. Stop it. Best in the world. Stop. I'm serious. You know, these cookies are one of the main reasons I married you. <laughs> That's that smile I love. Let's just hope that Mr. Lyons feels the same way. Because I found the perfect place for the cookie shop, and if he agrees to fund it, I think we could have it open by summer. Yeah, confident he will. He's a multimillionaire. He's one of the biggest clients at my firm. 50K is going to be nothing for him. So, you should probably go get dressed? Yes, yeah? definitely. Okay. Don't you dare eat another one of those cookies. Okay. What about your long and short equity strategies? Uh. I can answer that one. Um, our thinking is that we'll start off local and then we can expand to bigger markets once we've created enough revenue. And uh, Thomas, don't you think we've interrogated them enough? I'm just trying to fully understand the business. Well, if the cookies are good, people will buy them. That's what's important. No, the business plan is just as important as the product. What do I know? I only graduated top of my class at Stanford Business School. Fine. I suppose I'll stop. She's the boss. I understand that. <laughs> I have one of my own. <laughs> uh, well, here they are. I know they're really best fresh out of the oven, but they should still be good. Wow, Deborah, these are incredible. What's your secret? Uh, thank you. Um, you know, there's no secret, really. When you, when you grow up without a lot of money, you experiment and improvise. And you know, I guess in my case, it worked out. So, let's see. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. How long have you been baking and since university? Uh, no, I didn't go to university. Um, I did uh, take a couple classes at junior college, but um, really, you know, I've actually been baking since middle school. Uh, you should try our oatmeal raisin. I mean, they're, they're, I think they're even better, personally. But, I mean, these are to die for, aren't they? <laughs> but, yes. But with no real education, how can you possibly run a successful business? Uh, well, you know, I've always just learned things from experience. I can make a great cookie, 
but now I'm just, you know, orientating myself with the business world. And, um, you know, I think that... Uh, sorry, but Thomas... The word is orient. You said orientated. Oh. And I'm guessing this is where your junior college education is really starting to shine. Thomas, did you really need to say that? I'm not a baker. And I'm not here to sugarcoat things. If she wants to know the truth about starting a business, she needs to hear the truth. Deborah. It doesn't matter how delicious the cookie is. It takes a certain level of sophistication to run a business. All right. Well, uh, thank you so much for your time, Mr. and Mrs. Lyons. Um, we should probably get going. <laughs> uh, Deborah's mom is staying with us tonight. Should I call you tomorrow to discuss long and short equity strategies? Oh, no, no, that's quite okay, Ron. I think I've seen enough. But thank you. Of course. Well, thank you both so much for coming in, Deborah. Your cookies were delicious. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you liked them. Good luck. Have a great day. Oh. Don't forget these. Good night. Good night. What? What did I say? What are you doing up so late? Hey, Mom. Um, I'm just working on some logo concepts. For? You know that cookie business that I've always talked about? I really want to start it soon, if I can get a bank loan. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Oh, what's so funny about that? <laughs> Honey, people like us can't start businesses. Well, what do you mean? I mean, anyone can start a business. You know what I mean. It, your cookies are good, but you have no money, no education. Who's gonna take you seriously? All my life, people have doubted me, but you? I mean, aren't you supposed to be Encouraging me? I just want you to be realistic. That's all. I mean, trust me, honey. Don't, don't waste your time. Good night. Wasting my time, Ron. What do you mean? I mean, with this whole cookie business. Maybe everybody's right. Maybe I'm just delusional. Oh, don't say that. Please don't let Mr. Lyons get to you. He's just... No, it's not just Mr. Lyons. I mean, it's my mom. It's people I grew up with. Sometimes it feels like the only one that believes in me is you. Well, honey, everyone tells you that you have the best cookies in the world. It doesn't mean that I could build a business. I don't know, maybe it's impossible. What did I say wrong this time? You didn't say anything wrong. I just wanted to show you this. Impossible. Incapable of... Don't tell me what it means. Tell me how it's spelled. I am... Possible. I don't understand. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is even the word itself is spelled I am possible. So please don't think that there's anything you can't do. You have a great product. You just need the right people to believe in you. The same way that I believe in you. And what if they don't? I already got us an appointment set up at the bank to get a loan. And if they deny us, we'll go again and again and again. 
We're not gonna give up, no matter what. The entire country is gonna know about your cookies one day, mark my words. Thank you, Ron. You were always supporting me and I love you. I love you too. But if I'm being honest, I think I love your cookies more. <laughs> <laughs> now show me the logo you were working on. Okay. Um, so this is what I was starting with. Okay. Um, with Ron's support, Deborah remains committed to going after her dream of starting a cookie shop. Over the next few months, they meet with as many loan officers as they can, trying to get funding for their cookie business. But one by one, every single person they meet with tells them the same answer, no. Both Ron and Deborah start to get really discouraged. Until one day, they both get some unexpected news. I mean, I don't know what else to do. Everybody in town has already told us no. Then we'll go to another town. Someone out there is going to say yes. Ron, I really appreciate what you're trying to... Let me to stop you right there, okay? I know where you're going with that. All we need is one person, Deborah. That's it. What we need is a miracle. I'll get it. Mrs. Lyons, what are you doing here? Is that beautiful wife of yours home? Yeah, she is. Honey. Uh, hi, Mrs. Lyons. I hope you don't mind me coming over unannounced, but I wanted to give you this. Fifty thousand dollars? I thought you, I thought you didn't want to invest. Thomas didn't want to, but I wanted to all along. Your cookies were delicious. Thank you so much. Um, but isn't Mr. Lyons going to be upset about this? Where do you think his money comes from? You. you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like he said, I'm the boss. What I know is with cookies as delicious as yours, lots of people are going to want to buy them. And it doesn't matter what college you went to or any of that stuff. Thank you. You won't regret this. I, I promise. I know I won't. Oh, oh, oh. Before I forget, I do have one favor to ask. Of course. Yes, anything. I need you to bake me a fresh batch of cookies and drop them off the house tomorrow. I've been raving about them to all my friends and they are dying to try them. I can absolutely do that. Yes, of course. Well, great. Well, um, take care and I'll be in touch. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now with the funding she needs, Deborah can finally open up the cookie shop she's always dreamed of. Before long, Deborah was open for business. Even though at first things were slow, once word got out about her delicious cookies, business started exploding. Customers kept referring each other and sales quickly skyrocketed. Ron even quit his job to become Deborah's growth manager for Miss Shields Cookies. Deborah and Ron pitched their idea to take their cookie store and expand to new locations all over the country. With such a successful store, it doesn't take much convincing for the bank to say yes. A lot of years pass, and then one day Deborah gets an unexpected visitor. We are here today with cookie extraordinaire Deborah Smith an Oakland native who has made us all so proud. So tell me, Deborah, what are we making today? Uh, well, I would like to go back to my childhood by making my very first cookie. Are these chocolate chips and margarine part of the secret to your success? Uh, in a way. See, I grew up poor and these ingredients were all I could afford. So I spent a lot of time trying to make the best cookie that I could with them. At the time, I was really embarrassed to be using them, but well, without them, Mrs. Shields' cookies would not be what it is today. Wow, you really did make something out of nothing. So what would you say to all those people out there that want to start a business, but maybe feel they can't, like their dreams might be impossible? Well, I would tell them exactly what someone once told me. 
Even the word impossible is spelled I am possible. If a poor girl with very little education like me can make it, then so can you. I love it. Now let's make some cookies, shall we? Great. Um, for this next shot, I want to change the lenses. So can we take five? Sounds good. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's official. Our 73rd location just made their first sale. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what a thought. I know. Thank you for believing in me. And thank you, Mrs. Lyons, for making all of this possible. Are you kidding? <sighs> I should be thanking you. This has been our most successful investment. I rub it in Theodore's face every single day. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, did you come here to tell me I was right? You must have bumped your pretty little head. <laughs> I just came to see if uh, some of those delicious cookies are ready so I can take them to share with my friends at church. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh, oh. You did it. So I have a dream to start a business where I take used clothes, make them cute, and then sell them. Do not tell me that you shop at the thrift store. It's for me to sell. No one's going to want to buy your used trash. You do what you love, and money will always follow.